The preseason is really all about the rookies and them proving that they truly belong here at the next level. And one quarterback that nobody really saw making a big splash has been making some noise lately, and that's Dorian Thompson Robinson. Dorian Thompson Robinson was a Browns fifth round pick of the draft. And I know what you're probably thinking. There really isn't much of a way for him to start anytime soon, so why the hell even bring him up? Well, lately, and I know it's just the preseason, he's been making a pretty good push to show that he deserves a shot in this league. Now, preseason games might not always be against the top end talent, but DTR is making sure that Cleveland knows that he's an option behind center if anything were to happen to Deshaun Watson. DTR started making some noise during the Hall of Fame game, and since it was the kickoff game, there were definitely a lot more eyes on him, and he was super fun to watch. DTR showed a lot of talent with both his arm and his legs, and in just his first drive, he started to make some noise. He had a good drop and delivers a great throw over the middle of the the field to his wide receiver who's running an in. A huge play to help Cleveland convert a second and 15. DTR just looks the part on the play. Then we really didn't have to wait too long for him to start showing off that running ability. He takes his drop and clearly he didn't think he had much, so he finds room to the right and scrambles to get the first. What I really love about this play is he even does this little like jump pump to try to deter the defender. It was just nice to see him showcase some of his speed too. It really felt like he was just doing everything out there. The Browns went on to score on the next play, and DTR showed that he can be pretty physical too when he kind of just threw his body at the defender in an attempt of a block. Not really the most successful block of all time, but still impressive for a quarterback. Demetric Felton ended up scoring, which is actually kind of cool because he played at UCLA with DTR. It was a really promising first appearance for Dorian Thompson Robinson, and I can't end talking about this game without bringing up his touchdown pass too. DTR takes the snap and does a pretty good job at scanning the field and saying that the defense is slowly drifting towards the right side of the field and he delivers a good throw to his wide receiver on a slant and he basically just walks in for the score it was a really really promising start to his pro career the next week in technically week one of the preseason he played well again he kind of proved that it wasn't just some one-off He's already shown off some of his ability to throw and run, and that is to keep teams accountable, and he sells a great run here. It's a really good fake, and DTR has the whole commander's defense sold on the idea that he's going to take off running, and because of that, they lose sight of the tight end in the flat, giving DTR a pretty easy pass that ends up going for 27 yards. A few plays later, I think you can actually see him going through his progressions, which is really nice to see at this early of a stage in his career. DTR works through a few options, and then delivers delivers a good throw to the corner route. Now, he doesn't really look to the right side of the field, but he has three potential decisions to the left and finds the open man. Just very promising stuff. Finally, still have to show off his legs. Cleveland only needs a yard to pick up the first, so why not just have DTR pick it up for you? He fakes it to the running back, and then instead of throwing it out to the flat, he just takes it himself. Even though it's just the preseason, DTR did a pretty good job at making it fun to watch. That takes us to week two of the preseason, where DTR actually got the start and split game time with Kellen Mond. It may have actually been his worst game. He had a few blunders, as you'd expect from a fifth round rookie, but he kept making some of those plays that leave you pretty surprised. His first drive of the game, he ends up with a huge gain after a throw over to Cedric Tillman. DTR keeps looking downfield and kind of sees that the cornerback bites and he has enough space with the safety. It's really one of those plays where you're putting a lot of trust in your receiver, but it paid off. Then later we got him threading the needle. It's an NFL level play. It's play action and he's able to to get the ball to his receiver who does have three to four guys around him. DTR just puts it in the perfect spot and more importantly is able to recognize that he has an opening and it goes for 22 yards. Of course, not everything was perfect from him. He had a really ugly throw in between those two drives. This one isn't very pretty. Not really sure what was going on with the form or what he was really doing, but it's important to note that he is still going to have issues because he's young and he's a rookie, but that's definitely one that needs to be cleaned up. Really, it's just impressive that a guy taking day three of the draft has been able to make such an impact. But if you watch DTR in college, this might have been something that you expected. Coming out of Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas, Nevada, Dorian Thompson Robinson was a four-star recruit, the third best dual threat quarterback in the class, and 66th best overall. He committed to play at UCLA and ended up getting snaps in 10 games and threw for 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns, and four interceptions while completing 57.7% of his passes. Then, D 
DTR took over as the Bruins starter in 2019, and he was pretty impressive. His most memorable game of the year was definitely against number 19 Washington State. UCLA won 67-63 after coming back, and DTR finished with 564 total yards, a UCLA record, and had 7 total touchdowns. He also had a good game against rival USC and had 431 total yards of offense. DTR went 4-7 in his starts with a 59.7 completion percentage, 2,700 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. Then on the ground, he had 200 yards and 4 touchdowns. 2020 was kind of a weird year with the pandemic and all, and DTR was the starter, but he only played in 5 games. UCLA went 2-3 in those games, but he did have a good season though, even if it was just a small sample size. DTR was second team all Pac-12 after he threw for 11 100 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions, and he rushed for 300 yards and 3 touchdowns. Then, as a senior, DTR was second team all Pac-12 after having 2,400 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions with a 62 completion percentage. On the ground, he rushed for 600 yards and 9 touchdowns. It was definitely the best year of his collegiate career so far, and UCLA was actually winning games and went 8-3, but DTR wasn't done just yet. He chose to stay in Los Angeles for his fifth year and only continued to improve. He had a 69.6 completion percentage, 3,154 yards, 27 touchdowns, 646 rushing yards, and 12 rushing touchdowns, all of which were career highs. Coming out of college, Dorian Thompson Robinson was pretty much a development prospect. There were worries that he could get hurt at just 203 pounds despite being 6 foot 2, and his game definitely had some problems. His pocket management was okay at best, and his accuracy and velocity weren't really anything to get too excited about. Still, there were a lot of positives too. After playing in a Chip Kelly offense, he's already seen a good amount of NFL concepts, and that has clearly helped him with the learning curve in the pros. DTR just makes good decisions, and more than anything, he's just a good athlete who's fast and can make plays with his legs. That all was enough for him to go in the fifth round of the draft, and that usually makes a guy more of an afterthought than anything, but Dorian Thompson Robinson is trying to stay relevant, but it's for sure going to be tough in Cleveland. Now, there definitely isn't a quarterback controversy in Cleveland. Deshaun's their guy, and that's really it. But if something were to happen to Deshaun, there would definitely be a spot open for somebody. Still, as long as he's healthy, he's going to be the one playing on the field. And probably just because of how much they're paying him, even if Deshaun starts playing like shit, he's probably still going to be out there playing. The Browns had that big trade where they gave up three firsts for him, and then turned around and gave him a $230 million fully guaranteed deal. So Cleveland desperately needs him to work out, and that's going to make it hard for DT to even get a chance, but he also has to work his way up the depth chart too. I do think he's already better than Kellen Mond. He's really just been a flop in the pros. He was a third rounder in 2021 and only spent a single year with the Vikings. It's pretty clear that nobody has really had faith in him to be anything more than a depth piece in the league. But that does leave Josh Dobbs, who I think could reasonably be the backup behind Watson. He's experienced and was even starting in games last season with the Titans. DTR definitely gives Cleveland more upside for sure, but just based off of experience, Dobbs is likely better at this point. I really don't know when or really if we're ever going to see Dorian Thompson Robinson start in a regular season game for the Browns. I think he's really talented and extremely fun to watch, but unfortunately, barring some crazy injury to the starter, I don't think we're going to see DTR taking the field anytime soon.